All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. I've been uh, really trying to hit the exercise and watching what I eat very hard. I think it's finally starting to pay a little bit of dividends, but I'm still trying to figure certain things out. So, for example, yesterday I was, uh, let's see, for the past couple days, I've been trying to weigh myself. It kept saying 182.6. Now I'm at 181.8. Right? You don't lose almost a whole pound overnight. However, I'm getting like crazy fluctuations. And also had something to do with my floor too, because apparently my floor, because it's somewhat uneven and not completely solid, it was actually screwing up the scale that I was using. So, you know, I found, so I picked a different spot and now I'm just trying to recalibrate. So I'm trying to think, why is there like a huge difference in weight? weight loss and I know part a lot of it is you know water retention uh, I actually would like to uh, oh, see I want to keep the video short so three minutes uh, I'm gonna, I'll watch this off stream but I'm very interested in that because I know Amazon wants to get into uh, movies and stuff because they were looking to buying AMC but I guess that's out of the picture now so they're gonna try buying MGM that's actually pretty interesting, yeah. Even though Amazon's a way newer company, they're buying out all the old stuff, too. So, yeah. Uh, but anyway, let me finish my weight loss thing before we actually get into the money stuff. But, um... Because obviously, if you have poor health and then you die from a heart attack, well, it doesn't matter how much money you make from the stock market or uh, cryptocurrencies, right? Because you're dead. And you're having a nice chat with Jesus Christ for the, all of the eternity. So, eh, I guess it's not so bad, but, you know, I miss out on what's happening here on Earth. So anyway, um, I met, because I had the temptation at night to eat. I resisted it, simply by just playing some video games, because that's a really good way to distract myself. So I thought, maybe eating also helps water retention. Right, because your body has to have water to, you know, digest everything or something. And it just really wants to hold on to it. So I'm kind of wondering if that's part of it, a lot of it, too. So, uh, yeah. All right. Um, I don't have to worry about Star Trek. I'm not going to get kicked off for uh, AF, for being uh, idle for too long or AFK for too long. All right. So it's 10 a.m. I'm a little early, which is fine, because I got a lot. I, I got a Today I want to work on coding. I want to get back into, you know, my coding course, you know, because my game's not going to make itself. So, uh, so this is a surprise. Ride is actually up today, which is hilarious. So is Mara and everything else. The dollar is crashing. That's good. Well, it's good for us. It's bad for everyone else. Costco's going up. Okay. And then I know, uh, I know the 10 year yield. I already checked it. Well, let's actually go over to CNBC bonds. 10-year yield is going down. Uh, not too, not in a crazy amount, I think. I wish they put the percentages here, but it doesn't look too bad. But it's selling off just a little bit. So it's very stable, very stable. Because usually when the dollar goes down, bond yields go up because people are selling off the bonds to get the cash to go put into something else. Because what happens is your dollar is now producing less money. So bonds are fixed interest payments. So that means the value of your bond is getting shittier and shittier and cheaper, which means you better sell it now, otherwise you're just going to keep losing more money. Um, I haven't watched the Greg Manorino video, so I don't know what the significance of the U.S. home construction falling, and it's a surprise. Um, I mean, it doesn't seem to have much effect on the mar stock markets now or even crypto, but it is actually pretty important, uh, So I, I, but I have to find out. Crude oil has been doing pretty well. Um, I mean, as long as Israel continues to slaughter the Palestinians, you know, we're going to unfortunately make more money. That's not my preferred way because it's literal blood money. It's very evil. That's also why in times of war, believe it or not, that's actually pretty good because you make money off of <laughs> war. Uh, it, th there's a reason why globalist elites, you know, love doing all this evil neocon shit, all right? You know, from the Republicans, you'll hear, oh, we just got to kill, you know, X, Y, Z. But from the Democrats, they'll say the same, they'll, 
they want the wars, but they'll use a different line of saying, say, oh, we got to liberate these re poor refugees, or oh, we got to spread democracy and degeneracy everywhere. It's the same shit. It's the same result, right? But because people are so ingrained with the right versus left shit, and there is a big difference, but it's got to the point where people just don't realize they're just being played by both sides. You know, because the Republicans and Democrats really are the one in the same. All right? One in the same. You know? So, uh, yeah. Uh, but that's uh, that's just how it goes, right? So, all right. So, yeah, it's surprising. Riot's up because Bitcoin's not doing so good. Oh, here's a... Yeah, so, bond, yeah, 10-year yield's only up 1%. Silver is kind of catching, you know, a breather because it went straight up. Yeah, Bitcoin's basically hovering around 44k. Now, in the past, what I would normally have happen is it goes down a lot, and then it flatlines, and then it goes straight back up. This time around, crypto is not doing that. What it's been doing is it eventually keeps going down, it flatlines, and then goes down even more, which is which is increasing my frustration with cryptocurrencies. Uh, and it's just so aggravating. Now... Has occurred to me though that the overall market cap is creating a new floor. Before this would be like 1.8, 1.74 trillion. Now it's around 2.06 trillion. So uh, now, if the since the dollar is down a crap load, and I mean a shit ton, and inflation's going up, crypto is supposed to be skyrocketing. I don't know what the hell is going on, but. The longer the rich elites, you know, hold on to their shitty dollars, the more money they're going to lose. So at some point, they're going to have to buy up something, right? And right now, they don't want to buy up anything. They don't want to buy up stocks. They don't want to buy up uh, bonds because they're selling it off. They don't want to buy... Maybe they're kind of buying precious metals, but then we would see a lot... No, that's not right. Then we would see a lot more price spikes in silver, especially. Uh, and of course, it's not going into crypto right now. But on the other hand, where is all the money that's being sold off? Because the dollar is going down in value. Like, I, I guess maybe they're buying other currencies? Like, you know, Japanese yen, for example, or British pound. Uh, I mean, actually, that could be it, actually. Maybe they're parking their money in other fiat. I actually have not considered that. That could be a way to temporarily, you know, move their money around. So, yeah, uh, the business be commoditized, hurts a dog coin test investor. Okay, I, I'm only clicking this because hurts a test investor, common sense. Uh, oh, okay, it's just some sort of whatever article piece. Yeah, hmm, 89.80. All right, so I'm gonna guess by the time this dollar hits 89 I mean I don't know how much more pressure do you really need all right how much must the dollar go down I seriously just hate the Yahoo auto video play it's so annoying like I, I see oh that's what's happening I pause it and then as soon as I scroll away and then back in it just replays god they, they make it they deliberately code it that way and it's so annoying um, okay, so this is interesting. Tips has gone down. Yeah, this whole market is completely distorted. Like, this is supposed to be going up. Hmm. All right, well, uh, uh, well, I guess we could just read this after all. But, uh, but yeah, so far, I, it look like I might be right. Bitcoin's heading to 40k. Crypto's RS said it would go down to 39,500, which is essentially 40k. And um, I don't know. Once it, that happens, I think then we might see some movement upward. But simply because, you know, we just need a little more negative sentiment. And then people will dump everything and then we'll just buy a lot. But I don't know. Uh, I just don't know because. This will, this is just literally taking forever. And now I'm actually thinking bull run, this bull run might actually last a little much longer than the end of this year, which has an obvious, obvious impact on us because that means do I actually sell in November? Because that's what I did in uh, 2017. Because 
This time around, everything's actually stretching out. And we also have a completely different situation today. Back then, less money, and everything was all about the ICO crazy rage. Nowadays, everyone's smarter. There's actual value being made through DeFi and Cardano-like stuff, Ethereum. Better code, right? It's been four years since then. I don't know why my throat's so dry. <clears throat> but there's, um, you know, the code base is just significantly different and better than before. And, of course, we have rich institutions actually dogpiling into the crypto. So, yeah. Similar but different. Convicted man kills himself in federal court after Eric North Dakota officials say. Hmm. Okay. U.S. home construction falls a surprising. Yeah, I think we'll just read this and then we'll call it. Uh, yeah, it's not too long. Uh, <clears throat> home construction fell a surprising sharp 9.5% April on cost attributed that partially the builders who delayed project because of a surge in the lumber prices and supply constraints. Right. Lumber has been going up a lot. Uh, price, that is. April decline left construction at seasonally just a rate of 1.57 million, down from. <clears throat> okay. Allocations for building permits considered a good sign for future activity rose 0.3 percent April. Their annual rate of one. Okay, so people still want to buy uh, build shit. They just don't want to use wood, which is fine. You should just use like stone or something. It's better than using stupid wood. I'm actually surprised, like, I actually see, like, a lot of construction here in New York City, obviously. And a lot of frames are actually made out of wood. I'm like, shouldn't it be made out of steel? All right? But I think it's because in engineering, the strength of the building is actually the exterior, right? Like, the stuff you put outside the frame. You know, the bricks and, and stone and stuff. So I guess that's where the strength of the building comes from. Not the actual f uh, frame building frame or work or skeleton i guess <clears throat> it kind of said the april dit is con ah. got it. i don't know why my throat's so dry but i'm definitely gonna drink a lot of water after this so-called economists who get everything wrong so the april dit is consistent with reports projects delayed by soaring lumber prices snow supply chains blah 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 yeah, because now that the Democrats have to open up the world, essentially, because they got to make themselves look good. Yeah, uh, price and demand is going up. The price of lumber alone has added 35.8K to the price of the average single-family home. That's actually a lot. Uh, new board taxes imposed by Trump administration and trade dispute with Canada. There was also a temporary shutdown in production when the pandemic hit a year ago. Oh, that's pretty fun. I didn't know Trump put a, like a Canadian lumber tax. <laughs> That's pretty funny. You know, the higher prices of kind of expect housing one of the standard in the last year will continue to show strength in 2021. Yeah, because as we now see, the dollar is crashing. Inflation's hyper ballooning. <clears throat> All right. Um. So yeah, put your money somewhere, right? Well, you're gonna you're gonna put it into stuff. Well, guess what? Lumber is stuff. She predicted uh, housing construction. Hit. Okay, I don't know. April weakness reflected 13.4% drop in construction starts for single-family homes, which decline annual rate of blah 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 blah. Oh, this is uh, oh, this is also the error thing too. I'm pretty sure Greg Manorino would probably mention this. So this is a single-family home. So that basically means the poor and middle class are shrinking, right? Because well, who who bought who lives in a single-family house? Usually poor, becoming middle class and middle class people, right? So, uh, well, that means there's just less less of them buying up these homes. Uh, construction of apartments with five units or more rose 4% to 470k units. So basically, everyone's moving into the city and people are living in shitty apartments. That's exactly what the elites want. They want to destroy the middle class. And so far, these this is what I was looking for. And these construction numbers and the way it's weighted is... Um, is, is exactly reflective of that for now. The April decline, yeah, because remember, housing prices are just both expensive and out of reach for most people. So what do you do? You're going to rent an apartment, just like I'm doing, right? So guess what? You know, um, you know, I'm trying to think of that Davos tweet that says, by 2030, you will own nothing and you will love it. It's like it was such an arrogant little thing, all right? 
Now, of course, I got a ratio in Twitter, but obviously elites like George Soros just don't care. All right, look, George Soros Twitter. Let me just show you just how powerful and how shameless these people really are. Uh, that's almost, uh, oh, he's actually been tweeting a lot all of a sudden. All right, so here's a ratio almost. This one's normal, normal. Uh, oh, he's actually been tweeting a lot because he wouldn't tweet for a long time. Let me see. I, I bet I can actually find it. He gets a lot of replies. This almost gets ratio. Here we go. So this is, this is a uh, ratio, right? That means more replies than like likes or retweets. Uh, so even George Soros was able to, with their, oh, here's a clear ratio, right? February 2nd, right? 348 replies, 82 and 190. All right, here's almost a ratio. Here's almost a ratio. Let's see. Oh, that's funny. Did he start banning people? Because I remember there would be like 900 replies and like 100 likes and retweets. Here we go. Here's another ratio, December 11th, 2020, 1.1, 1 .1, <laughs> 1100 replies, 420. <laughs> so there's a ratio. Here's another one. Look at the super ratio, right? 4,700 replies and then like a lot less <laughs> likes and retweets, right? You keep going down and you'll just find like, yeah, here's another one, 8,500. Yeah. So, yeah, but they, they obviously just don't care. They don't care. Let's see, April decline control was led by a 34%. What? 34 point, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it just means 34% fall in the Midwest, followed by an 11.5% drop in the South. Construction rose 9% in the West and was up 6.2% in the Northeast. So basically, liberal areas are getting stronger and conservative areas are getting weaker. Yeah. What a surprise. What a surprise. But though I have to admit, if I lived in the middle of a rural area or a very small town, I would probably just go crazy too, you know. Yeah, I don't even, I don't even think there's a such thing as a conservative city. I think that's just like impossible. Strippers are back on their job, but COVID rules are hurting their pay. That's that's hilarious. Alright. So anyway, um Couple of surprises in the market actually, but so far everything's kind of flat. I think people, uh, I think institutions are just kind of in a wait and see attitude, which is annoying, which is very annoying, and that also includes Bitcoin and crypto. But again, I'm surprised that Riot is being bought. Why is this going up? Uh, blockchain stocks, Bitcoin, Bitcoin stocks like uh, like uh, Tumbling Elon Musk tweets, Tesla for Q level uh, reports for, for results, current operation. Okay, so oh, Riot Blockchain had re uh, earnings results today. That's what's going on. Riot Blockchain leading the D unaudited. Increased buying revenue by 881.1% to 23.2. To, okay, wow, that is a massive increase. Increased mining revenue margin to 67.5 for the three month period as compared to post record. Produce record net income of 7.5 million or 9 cents a share. We are extremely pleased with Riot's record quarterly financial results, which built upon a transformative 2020. Jason Less of Riot CEO. The company's improved financial results are a direct result of Riot's absolute focus on Bitcoin mining and growing its mining operations. Uh, yeah, see, this is why it's so important that stupid, retard, idiot Bitcoin goes up. Because the more that goes up, the more Riot's going to go up, and then I can exit my stupid position in Riot blockchain. Or I might actually just keep it if Bitcoin's finally getting off its lazy, re stupid ass. Riot continues to attain significant amounts of Jeremiah's focus on Bitcoin mining. Okay, so they're repeating what they just said. Okay, completed the first quarter of 2021 with record current assets and no debt. That's the most important thing, right? Because Riot actually um, issued and diluted a bunch of their shares uh, right up until February. Actually, well before February. So they have a lot of cash. With 275.6 million cash in Bitcoin as report on their balance sheet. Okay, the company's unordered Bitcoin balance has stood at 1771 Bitcoin. All of which were produced by mining ops. 
Yeah, in their case, they can do it because their electricity cost is 1.2 cents per kilowatt because most of their mining is located by the name is like Mazpeth or Mazpetha or something that starts with the letter M in New York State. And it's right by like some hydroelectric dam. So they have very cheap renewable green energy sources, you know, which is why I get really irritated at Elon Musk. It's like, why is he saying stupid shit like that? It's really, you know, aggravating. <clears throat> But, you know, you know, compare like Elon Musk compared to everyone else. I mean, I'll take it because at least all the other at least Elon Musk uh, kind of cares about the people and all the other billionaire assholes don't. Right. They're just trying to screw everybody over. Right. Case in point, Charlie Munger, he's like, I hate Bitcoin. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, you know, no, he hates the idea that you and I can get rich. Right. Because he wants you in the rat race. He wants people like that want you in the rat race so you can go keep working for these you know, billionaires and working their, you know, big corporate shit and pay you nothing, essentially. Yes, it's nothing because inflation skyrocketing and the value of your dollar is going down. That's why you cannot get ahead, right? Um, and, of course, that's all on purpose because that's the point. Uh, but we're smarter than that, right? Well, as you and I are. First quarter 2021 and recent opera. How long is this thing? This thing is really long. How long have I been doing this? 21 minutes. All right, I better speed this up a little. Um, announced the sign of a definitive agreement to acquire Windstone US Inc. to create a leading US-based corporate pillar supporting. Uh, Windstone owns and operates NA's largest Bitcoin mining facility at 300 megawatts and developed capacity and attracted long-term power purchase agreement. Upon closing riot, will be the largest publicly traded Bitcoin mining company uh, in North America. Okay, in terms of developed capacity, that's good. The transaction is supposed to close in the second quarter of 2021. So that's this So that's this month or next month. Definitely by July 1st, because that's probably when the third quarter starts. Subject to satisfaction or waiver of customary closing conditions, including receipt of required with a String the company's management team by appointing Jason Lewis, Chief CEO, and Megan Brooks, the Chief CEO, and hiring Ryan Warner as Vice President of Finance and Phil McPhee as Vice President of Capital Markets. Okay, so they're putting in people who uh, do money stuff, and they're hiring people. So that's good, which means they're expanding. During the three-month period, I did it because I'm thinking that I'm going to have to do the same thing when I come up with an iGame. Because I definitely will want to hire, because I definitely want to hire people, especially programmers, to program my game. Because there are actual technical limitations, because I don't know how to code as well. So I can't put in certain features that are important. During the three-month period ending March 31st, 2021, Riot received 6.7 mil... No, <laughs> I wish they received that many. 6703 S19 ant miners. Okay, there's a total of... Man, that is a lot of ant miners. Coming received a further 8,900 ant miners. Da -da 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 -da. When fully deployed, Riot's and fleet will increase with an estimated of 2.3 exa hash per second. Jeez, I don't even know how much that is. I, I know what a... Giga and Terra hashes. So what's number four? Quadra hash? So five would be exa hash, maybe? During 2021, the company had an additional purchase agreement with Bitmain for an additional 43.5 thousand ant miners. The purchase price was 145.7 million. Once deployed, rides hash rate will be 7.7 .7 exa hash hashes in the fourth quarter of 2022. Well, by then, this bull run should be over. Um, but this would actually be a really good stock to actually buy. Like, actually buy the stock. Uh, and I don't care if they ever pay dividends. In fact, I would hope they would never pay dividends, because I want the value of the stock to keep going up. So, and then I do a covered call or something. Um, mining margin computed as revenue. Uh, six, okay, I want to keep reading this. Uh, there... Uh, Selling general administrative expenses increased a lot to 5.5 million. Huh. Uh, probably due to professional fees associated transaction infrastructure. Hmm. I don't know. Does this include? Is does this include electricity costs? That seems kind of like a lot for very few people. Then, uh, employees didn't cover the quarter. Okay. Hash rate growth, yeah, I mean, they kind of already, uh, 
Yeah, these uh, these S19 ant miners are really good. That's probably why you can't buy. I bet I bet you can't even buy because they're still bit me. I bet I bet they're still uh, sold out of this stuff. Uh, now they're doing artificial intelligence. Well, that one's the only thing I don't like about the Bitmain site is it's always so slow. Ant Pizza Day. I really would like a pizza. Yeah, S19J. Yeah, see, look, they're still sold out. Every time I go to their website, it's always sold out. You can never buy these damn things. Like, ever. You have to get it from the secondary market, like on Amazon or eBay. And these are the assholes that buy it from Ant Miner or Bitmain, and then they resell it for, like, a huge markup. You know, so, uh, I don't know, it's just a fancy looking thing, and they don't, oh wait, this isn't artificial, sofon.ai, the world's leading chip company, rich application scenarios, core products, uh, the, cl the first, the cloud AI computer infrastructure is the first choice, strong decoding, I don't know what this is. I'm glad it's here, but oh boy. Um, I wonder if this could be used to like power my shit, you know, someday. I don't know what I would need an artificial intelligence for, though. Like, I know I would need it for like my game where like you're, you're go going up against AI controlled player bases or something, right? Because the player's not there, but someone's got to manage the battle, right? So that's an AI. Uh, right blockchain focus so big, uh, 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 safe harbor. We don't need to read that. Okay, great. Okay, so that's the end of the article. All right, so that's good. So that's so that's why. Wow. So that's why Riot's going up because now they're like, you know what? They're actually making a crap load of money. So we're gonna buy up the stock. Very good. Right, and they, they've increased their employee count thirty three percent from six to eight because thirty three percent of six is two, so six plus two is eight. <laughs> Okay, so that's good. Uh, of course, this thing is still way off of, you know, freaking 72 to $77 on Riot, but the fundamentals are looking very, very good. So, you know, once, again, stupid, retard, idiot Bitcoin decides to go up, and that means waiting on the institutional investors to figure out what they're going to put their money in, because it's going somewhere, and they can't just hold cash. Uh, or fiat because inflation's spiraling out of control because central banks especially the federal reserve are printing and hyper ballooning things and they're going to keep rates at zero so you know it, it's it's going to be a lo guaranteed losing game if they do nothing right and hold cash i don't mind holding cash but um i mean maybe it's going to DeFi. maybe it's going to DeFi, and they're 24 hour volume for Tether is actually kind of insane. 146 billion. Yeah, so see, cash is going somewhere. It's definitely going in the stable coins. What about the other stable coins? USDC, 3.4 billion. You know what? Let me let me pull up my DeFi wallet. I have to go on Chrome. Because I want to look at what the current rates are. God, I gotta sign in a stupid MetaMask. The only, I, hate, I don't like MetaMask because it don't. I, mean, I guess it makes sense that it has to kick me off to, for security reasons, but I just find it annoying. Uh, did I go to Compound? I already connected my wallet, you stupid idiot. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me check the Compound tab. Let's see. All right, so USDC. C is 6.9, so 7% interest plus 2.8% interest for compound. Tether is 6.75% interest plus 2.5% uh, compound. Borrower rates are still pretty hefty at plus 3%. Um, let's see, there's also AVE uh, supply. Yeah, I don't want to use AVE. Also, there's you get shittier, you get shittier rates. What's how much do you get for Dai? Dai is paying three point ninety eight percent, uh, plus two point sixty eight percent compound. Okay, so maybe a lot of money is going into uh, stable coins. Maybe that's where the elites are parking their money because that is a factor too. Uh, believe it or not, DeFi is actually a really big factor. So I guess they're parking their money in there. 
Uh, there's too many complexities, but anyway, I'm gonna go. This video is way longer. It's actually kind of like the old videos, but... Alright, so fundamentals look very solid. So it's just a matter of time before this thing pops off, but this is so frustrating. So frustrating. Alright. Ah, but, you know, what are you going to do? Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I will see you all either later today, if the market's closed, or next week if you're just watching these videos. But um, for now, definitely dollar cost average. Uh, just buy more crypto. I already bought enough crypto. I already have more than I need. You know, I just want this thing to go up already. Uh, so I can concentrate fully on just making my games. But, you know. What I want doesn't necessarily mean I get. Not yet. You know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you... I just repeated myself. I'll see you next time. Alright? Uh, yeah. So, stop recording and streaming.